What's up guys? This is Engineer Jack. Today, pag-usapan natin uh, sa structural theory is about the analysis for external reactions of statically determined structures. So, we have beams, plane, and space process or 2D and 3D process, cables and arcs, and plane frames. Pero for this presentation, unahin muna natin yung uh, analysis for external reactions for statical beams and plane frames. So, this is the step-by-step -step procedure and it can be used to determine the reactions of plane static determined structures subjected to coplanar loads or these loads are uh, lying in the same plane. So first step is draw a free body diagram or FBD of the structure. Uh, same lang sa mechanics 1. And yung kaibahan nito sa structural theory, uh, meron na tayong checking for determinacy. Uh, I-check natin kung determinate ba or indeterminate or unstable yung structure natin. Uh, Siyempre, kailangan natin i-check kasi doon na natin malalaman kung uh, solvable ba or kaya ba natin masolve lahat ng unknowns using three equations of equilibrium for plane structures and meron naman tayong 6 equations of equilibrium for 3D structures and last step is syempre pag ni-check natin na determinate ng structure natin uh, pwede na natin masolve yung unknown reactions by applying the equations of equilibrium so sige guys we have example problem uh, determine the reactions of the supports for the beam shown in the figure so meron tayong beam guys a simple beam na mayroong support at A na roller and at B na pin connected so we have a load na concentrated na naka incline na 12 kips or 12,000 pounds na naka-incline at 6 degrees from the horizontal. Meron tayong concentrated load ng 6 kips din na 6,000 pounds at C. And direction nila is downward. So, first step, we will draw the FBD diagram. As you can see, para siyang stick lang. And naka-apply na yung mga reactions natin na, take note, yung reactions natin, assumption lang yung direction nila, no? Siyempre, pag mali yung ano natin, pag direction, ibig sabihin, yung makukuha natin na sagot is negative. So, second step naman, uh, after natin ma-determine yung uh, FBD diagram, ma-draw yung FBD diagram, ay check na natin yung determinacy ng structure natin. For this structure, since na-beam nito, yung gagamitin natin na formula is M plus R equals to 2J, na meron tayong member na isa, uh, meron tayong tatlong external reactions and dalawang joints. So, substitute, meron tayong 1 plus 3, 3 reactions equals to 2 times dalawang joints, so 4 equals to 4, and this is statically determined. So, ibig sabihin, mahasob natin lahat ng unknowns. Then, dun pala tayo mag, uh, magagamit, guys, ng, ano, ng equations of equilibrium. For this uh, beam, pwede natin masolve, guys, yung reaction at A. Pwede tayo mag-moment at point B. So, sa may siya, moment at point B ko sa zero, or pwede natin equate lahat ng clockwise, moment equate natin sa lahat ng counterclockwise. So, ano ba mga forces na mag-create ng clockwise at point B? So, as you can see, meron tayong 6 skips na mag-create ng clockwise at point B, at yung RA na vertical component component niya, mag-create din ng clockwise. And yung mag-create naman ng counter is yung vertical component lang ng 12K na naka-incline. So, yung sa kabila, mag-create ng clockwise nga, uh, 6K times yung perpendicular moment arm na 5 feet. Plus nga, yung reaction at A na naka-incline, yung vertical component niya is R8 times 4 over 5. And yung moment arm niya from B is 20 feet. Equal sa kabila naman, yung mag-create ng counter is yung 12K lang na vertical component. So, yung vertical component ng 12K is 12 K sine 60 degrees times yung moment arm 10 feet from B. Pwede nyo guys i-pause yung video and para i-calculate yung reaction at A. So we have reaction at A na equals sa 4.62 kips or 4,620 pounds. So nasolve na natin guys yung reaction at A na 4.62 kips or 4,620 pounds. So another equation, we have the another equation of equilibrium na summation of force vertical equals zero para masolve natin yung ibang reactions or pwede natin equate lahat ng pataas ng forces sa pababa ng forces. So yung pataas ng forces natin, we have BY and the vertical component of RA. Yung pataas nga is BY plus yung vertical component is RA times 4 over 5. Then yung pababa naman is yung 6K and the vertical component of 12K na 12K sine 60. So, yung RA nga natin is 4.62. Yun, sinafishute na natin. Then, pwede nyo guys ulit i-pause yung video para isolve guys yung BY. So, yung BY natin is 12.696 skips or 12.7 
carbon uh, kilopounds. Na yung direction natin, positive pataas, kasi positive yung nakuha natin, ibig sabihin tama yung assumption natin ng direction ng by. Uh, we can now solve the bx. So, we will use another equation of equilibrium na summation of forces horizontal equal to zero, or equate natin lahat ng uh, forces na yung direction to the right and forces to the left. So, yung to the right na direction, uh, syempre, yung bx natin, kasi inasyon ko guys na to the right siya, and yung ra, uh, horizontal component niya is ra times 3 over 5. Nang direction ng horizontal component ng ra is to the right then Equal sa lahat ng mga forces na magkakreate ng na direction to the left. So, yung magkakreate ng nun is the 12k na horizontal component nun is 12k cosine 60. So, kailan ulit, uh, yung ra natin is 4.62, then uh, solve the bx, then bx is 3.228 kips or 3,228 pounds. Nang direction niya is uh, to the right, to the right yung direction niya, and tama yung assumption natin. So, yun lang naman guys, no? So, for determinate structures, kailangan muna natin i-check guys yung determinacy, then after natin i-apply yung equations of equilibrium. So, for 2D structures nga, meron tayong 3 equations of equilibrium. Na summation of force vertical, summation of force horizontal, and summation of moments. Another example guys, meron tayong uh, cantilever beam na may load na distributed load na 15 kN per meter na yung length niya is 6 meters lang. And we have a concentrated load na 160 kN and meron tayong moment then at point A ng direction niya is clockwise equivalent na 400 kN meter. Yung support natin is nakalagay at point B and this is a fixed supported and yung point A natin uh, is a free end. So, first step ulit at uh, i-draw natin yung free body diagram niya. So, parang stick lang ulit then i-apply natin ng loads then i-apply na natin yung reactions. Kung meron tayong fixed supported guys, meron tayong tatlong reactions. So, as you can see, tinanggal ko na guys yung uh, horizontal component kasi uh, wala naman magkakreate na loads uh, horizontal. So, uh, inisyon ko guys na zero na yun. Kaya nilagay ko dalawa na lang. Pero, pag cantilever guys, always 3 reactions yan. So, i-check na natin guys yung determinacy. This is determined ba or unstable or indeterminate. So, for this beam ulit, yung formula natin is M plus R equals to 2J. Meron tayong isang number. And yung reactions nga natin, pag cantilever beam, meron tatlo. Yung joints natin is dalawa. Yung free end natin considered as a uh, joint. And yung B is a joint din. So, substitute. Meron tayong uh, 1 plus 3 equals to 2 times 2 let then 4 equals to 4 ibig sabihin this is statically determinate mga sub natin lahat ng anodes so first uh, pwede natin i-apply yung summation of force vertical or pwede natin i-equate lahat ng force na pataas sa pababa so yung pataas natin is yung RB lang or reaction at B na in ko guys na pataas so RB equals to lahat ng pababa is yung 160 and the distributed load i-convert natin yung distributed loads as concentrated load kaya yung area nyan is equivalent sa 15 kN per meter times yung length na 6 meters plus 160 kN. So, we have a reaction at B na na 250 kN positive and tama yung assumption natin na pataas nga. So, yun. So, sabi mo na, naman natin guys yung moment at B. So, equate natin lahat ng clockwise sa lahat ng counter. Yung magkakreate ng clockwise is mismong MB na reaction and yung 400 at point A. So, isa ng direction niya, no? So, clockwise sila. So, MB plus 400, nilagay ko sa left ng equation. Then sa right equation naman, ilalagay natin dito yung lahat ng forces na magkakreate ng counter. So, yung magkakreate niya is yung 160 and 15 na load. 15 kN per meter na load. So, 15 times 6 times 11 meters pa nang nakuha yan kasi uh, yung concentrated load natin nakalocate sa centroid ng area and yung perpendicular moment arm niya from point B is 3 meters from dito sa rectangular area plus 8. So, bali 11 meters. Plus 160, yung perpendicular moment arm niya din from B is 4 meters. So, MB plus 400 kN is equal to 15 times 6 times 11 is equal to 990 kN meter kasi yung unit niya may iwan pa rin is kN meter plus 160 times 4 is equal to 640 kN meter so simplify meron tayong moment at B na na reaction is equal to 1230 kN meter kung positive ba na kumako guys ibig sabihin yung direction ng inasyong ko is ng, ano, ng moment at B tama kasi positive pero pag negative ibig sabihin baliktad yung direction niya so for moment at B yung direction niya 
talaga is a clockwise moment. Another example guys is meron tayong frame, meron tayong dalawang members of the frame, meron member A, B, and meron member B, C. So as you can see, meron tayong loading na distributed load uniform a member A, B, 2 kN per meter. And para naman sa member B, C, meron tayong trapezoidal loading na uh, 2 kN per meter at this side and, and sa C naman, meron tayong 5 kN per meter. So first, uh, drop ulit natin yung free body diagram na kita yung loading and reactions and yung ginagawa natin sa member is parang stick nila. Then, syempre, uh, second step is to determine the determinacy of our structure. So, for frame, guys, uh, yung formula natin for checking the determinacy, meron tayong 3M plus R equals to 3J plus EC. And meron tayong dalawang members na AB and BC. Yung reactions natin external is meron na lang tayong tatlo. And yung joints natin is tatlo din. So, joint A, B, and sa C. So, yung kahit free end, guys, yan, considered as joint. Wala tayong internal uh, hinge or internal roller, kaya ang easy natin equals to 0. So, substitute uh, 3 times 2 plus 3 reactions equals to 3 times joint sa tatlo. So, bali, 9 equals to 9, ibig sabihin, this is statically determined. Then, yun, pwede natin i-apply yung equations of equilibrium. So, first, pwede natin, guys, isolve yung AY. Pag yung vertical force ang kahanapin natin, syempre, mag-summation of forces vertical tie equals to 0. So, ito yung muna gagamitin natin equation of equilibrium. Or, pwede natin equate yung lahat ng pataas sa pababa. So, yung papataas, yung AY lang, and yung pababa natin is the loading na trapezoidal or this loading. So, yung pataas nga si AY, and yung pababa is the area of the trapezoid para mag-convert, guys, na concentrated load. And that concentrated load na nakalukit sa centroid of the trapezoid. Na medyo mahirap kunin yung location niya. So, yung area niya is 2 kN or B1 plus B2 over 2 times height. So, yung B1 natin is 2 kN per meter plus 5 kN per meter over 2 times 9 meters. Ibig sabihin, rent ang value na AY equals to 31.5 kN. Or, instead guys, na ganito yung guys yung kulin natin na area, pwede natin guys hatiin yung area as triangular loading and rectangular. So, meron tayong uh, triangular loading na yung uh, magnitude niya is 3 kN per meter na. Then, yung rectangular loading natin or rectangular distributed load natin is 2 kN per meter. Kasi, pag 3 plus 2, uh, same pa rin, babalik pa rin sa 5 kN per meter. So, pag ganyan na guys yung loading na, yung pataas pa rin natin is AY and yung pababa na natin is yung dalawang area na. So, i-convert natin sa concentrated load, kukunin natin yung area. So, una, the area of the triangle na 1 half times 3 kN per meter times 9 meters plus yung area ng uh, rectangle na 2 kN per meter times 9. And yung area ng triangle is 13.5 kN plus yung area ng rectangle is 18 kN. Same pa rin yung makukuha natin na 31.5 kN. And yung direction niya is pataas. So, sub naman natin guys yung value ng AX. So, syempre gagamitin natin is the summation of forces horizontal equal to 0. Or equate natin lahat ng forces uh, to the right and to the left. So, yung create ng to the right is the AX and yung distributed load na 2 kN per meter times 15 para maging concentrated load. And wala tayong mag-create ng force na to the left, so equal to 0. So ngayon, ang kukuha natin is the value is negative. Ibig sabihin, yung assumption natin ng direction ng AX is baliktad. So since sa baliktad, syempre, dapat babalik rin natin. So instead na to the right, yung direction natin is to the left na. So yung AX natin is 30 kN and ang direction to the left. Isolve naman natin guys yung reaction na moment at A. Pero before for that, para hindi tayo guys mahirapan pag moment, yung gagawin natin itong trapezoid na load, gagawin natin ulit na triangular loading and rectangular. Mas mabilis natin malocate yung location ng mga uh, concentrated loads. Kasi para nga pag moment natin, yung perpendicular moment arm, hindi tayo mahirapan guys. So, gawin ko ulit guys, uh, ihati ko ulit sa dalawa. So, triangular loading ang rectangular. Then, i-convert natin guys ito as concentrated. So, ito nga, para makuha natin yung equivalent concentrated load, uh, just solve the area. So, unahin natin ito guys na 2 kN per meter times 15. So, equivalent siya sa 30 kN and yung location niya, eh, syempre kung rectangle yun, yung nakalocate yan sa centroid ng area. So, kung 15 to, ibig sabihin, yung location niya is 7.5 meter from point A. Then, second, ito naman guys na rectangular na 2 kN per meter. Uh, pag kinonvert natin yan sa concentrated load, syempre nakalocate yan from point B or point C, 4.5 kasi kalahati ng 9 meters. 
So, ang area nyon is 2 kN per meter times 9. So, 18 kN ang equivalent concentrated load. And para naman dito sa triangular, syempre, uh, yung value nyan is the area ulit ng triangular loading na 1 half times 3 times 9. That is 13.5 kN. Na syempre, nakalocate siya 1 third from the base. So, 1 third dito guys sa base na dito or 2 thirds from this vertex. So, ang ginawa ko guys, dito na lang. So, obviously, this concentrated load 3 meters from point C or from B is 6 meters. Saka tayo guys, mag ng moment at A. Mas madali to guys, i-compare sa uh, ito guys, yung nakikita natin para hindi tayo, ano, nalilito yung moment arms. Ganun. So, na-convert na natin guys, lahat ng distributed load to concentrated load. Ngayon, pwede na tayo guys, mag-moment at A equals 0 or equate natin lahat ng clockwise sa lahat ng counter. So, mag-create ng clockwise moment is yung 30 kN, 18 kN, and 13.5 kN. So, una, yung 30 kN mag-create ng counter na may moment arm na 7.5 meters plus 18 times yung moment arm is 4.5 meters plus yung 13.5 kN ng moment arm is 6 meters from A perpendicular moment arm. Kual, yung mag-create ng counter is walang iba kundi yung reaction na moment at a. So, simplify natin. So, 30 times 7.5 is equal to 225 kN. 18 times 4.5 is 81 kN. And 13.5 times 6 is 81 kN equal to MA. So, summation natin. Uh, so, meron tayong moment at A na, na 387 kN. Kung positive na kuha natin, ibig sabihin, tama yung direction na assumption natin na yung direction niya is counter. So yun, nasolve na natin guys lahat. So meron tayong AY, AX, and MA na yung MA nga is 387. Another problem guys is this is a, also a frame na yung, yung loading natin at member A, B is trapezoidal ulit and meron tayong concentrated load at point here. So first step ulit is to draw the free body diagram. Parang stick siya ulit. Then ilagay na natin guys yung reactions. So pag roller ulit, isang reaction lang and pag pin, dalawang reaction. So meron tayong uh, C x and cy for point c. At take note ulit guys na yung direction ko dito guys sa point c ng mga cy and cx is assumption ko lang. So pwedeng mali ulit, pwedeng mag negative yung makuha natin. Ibig sabihin, babaliktad lang yung direction natin. Then second step natin is to check the determinacy of our structure. So this is a frame. So ang gagamitin natin na formula is 3m plus r equals to 3j plus ac. And meron tayong dalawang members, so a, b, and b, c. Meron tayong tatlong external reactions and tatlong joints. So a, b, and c. And wala tayong internal roller or internal hinge. So substitute. So 3 times 2 plus 3 equals to 3 times 3. Wala tayong ac. 9 equal to 9. Ibig sabihin, this is determinate. So Tuloy natin yung solution. First equation of equilibrium, pwede na ako guys mag-moment at A or moment at C. Pero as you can see, mas madali guys mag-moment at A kasi yung ano natin, yung loading natin, itong trapezoidal is perpendicular na sa AB. Ibig sabihin, yung moment arm niya is madaling kunin na kasi perpendicular na sa ang loading natin sa member. Pero kung mag-moment tayo sa C guys, medyo mas may grab. Kasi i-convert pa natin ito sa concentrated tapos kukuha pa tayo ng dalawang components, may vertical component and horizontal horizontal component. Nakukuha pa tayo ng moment arm at point C. So, para madali nga, uh, yung kunin ko lang guys is moment at A. So, first step guys, ganun pa din. Pag trapezoidal, uh, i-divide natin sa dalawang area. Merong rectangular and rectangular. And yung equivalent concentrated load is the area of its uh, loading. So, for triangular, uh, meron tayong 1 half times. 1 na lang guys kasi this is 3. Ang rectangular natin is 2. So, 3 minus 2 is 1 na lang itong side. 1 kip per feet times 26 feet is equal to 13 kips. Ibig sabihin, itong para sa triangular, meron tayong 13 kips. So, for rectangular naman, meron tayong area lang na 2 kip per feet times 26 equal to 52 kips. Yung location niya, yung 13 kips nga is 1 third from this base. So, if this is 26, yung location niya from A is 26 over 3. Pero yung 52 kips naman guys, uh, siyempre, nakalocate siya sa centroid ng rectangle. So, obviously, this is 13 feet pwede na tayo mag-moment. Mag Kasi yung kailangan natin guys para mag-moment is the perpendicular moment arm. So, mag create guys ng clockwise is the, the 13 kips, the 52 kips, and the 50 kips. So, yung 13 kip is yung moment arm niya is 26 feet over 3 plus 52 kips times yung moment arm niya is kalahati ng 26 kaya 13 feet. Plus, yung 50k or 15 kips, yung perpendicular moment niya at point A is 24 plus 12 or 36 feet. Equal sa 
mag-create ng counter. So, yung mag-create naman ng counter, guys, is CY and CX. For this uh, solution, meron tayong dalawang anodes. Kasi well, hindi pa natin alam, guys, yung value ng CY and CX. So, yung moment arm ng CX is 10 feet. Kasi perpendicular moment arm nga is 10. Force times perpendicular moment arm, 10 feet. Plus, yung CY natin, yung perpendicular moment arm niya is 12 plus 12 plus 24 or 48 feet. So, simplify natin, guys. So, ililipat ko na sa kabila, guys, ito. So, meron tayong 10 CX plus 48 CY equal to 13 times 26 over 3 is 338 keep fit over 3 plus 52 times 13 is 676 keep fit plus 50k times 36 feet is 1800 keep fit so simplify natin guys uh, meron tayong value na 10 cx plus 48 cy equals to 7766 keep fit over 3 let's say this is equation 1 so nilagay ko guys dito sa taas yung equation 1 no? next solution summation of force horizontal equal to 0 equate natin lahat ng forces na direction to the right and to the left so mag create ng to the right is horizontal component ng 13k and 52. And sa kabila naman equation guys, yung mag-create ng forces ng direction is to the left is yung CX. So as you can see guys, meron tayong sloping na 5, 12, 13 itong triangle. Nakuha ko yan guys kasi yung bigger triangle, meron tayong 26 feet itong length ng AB. And this is 10 feet and this is 24. So lahat divide sa 2, kaya nagkaroon tayo ng 12, 5, and 13. Ngayon, this is the slope of this member. Siyempre, pag ginawa natin guys yung perpendicular na load uh, dito sa AB, yung slope nitong load is baliktad na. Para makuha yan, itong triangle na 13, 5, 12, i-rotate lang natin yan ng 90 degrees. Pag nilapit ko to guys na 5, 12, 13, no, uh, obviously, yung 13 na line is perpendicular to this AB. So, ito yung magiging slope ng loads natin. So, yung mag-create nga guys ng, ano, ng forces to the right is the horizontal components of 52 and 13. So, yung 52, yung horizontal component niya, magbubulti apply tayo ng 5 over 13 para parallel dito sa, sa horizontal axis. So, 5 over 13 plus 13k times 5 over 13 then equal to cx. So, simplify. So, meron tayong value ng cx is equal to 25 keeps. Nang direction niya is to the left. So, meron tayong equation nga, equation 1. So, pwede natin guys isubstitute yung value ng cx para masolve yung value ng cy. So, 12 times 25 keeps plus 48cy is equal to 7,766 keep feet over 3. 10 times 25 is 250. Nilipat natin negative 250 minus. So 48 CY is equal to 7,766 over 3 minus 250 keep feet. So 48 CY is equal to 7,016 over 3 keep feet. And meron tayong value ng CY, 877 over 18 keeps or 48.722 keeps or kilopounds. Na ang direction niya is upward. So yun, nasubla natin guys yung CX and CY, ngayon, ay yung solve naman natin is yung value ng AY. So, para solve yan, gagamitin natin is the summation of forces vertical equal to 0 and equate natin lahat ng pataas sa lahat ng pababa. So, yung lahat ng pataas lang is, is yung CY and AY lang. And yung pababa is yung 50 kips plus yung dalawang vertical components ng 13 and 52 k So, yung vertical component nila is magmultiply tayo ng 12 over 13. So, 52 times 12 over 13 plus 13 times 12 over 13. So, simplify. Yung CY natin, meron na tayong value na 877 over 18 keeps. So, plus AY equal to 50K plus 52 times 12 over 13 is 48K and 12K times 12 over 13 is 12K. So, yun. Magkakaroon tayo ng AY equals to 110 minus 877 over 18 keeps. So, meron na tayong value ng AY na 1,103 over 18 keeps or 61.28 kilopounds. Thanks. Or keeps. So yun, nasolve na natin guys lahat ng reactions. Next problem tayo guys. So as you can see, meron tayong continuous beam. Ibig sabihin uh, we have two or more beams na continuous. And meron tayong apat na supports. Isang pin and tatlong rollers. So yung loads natin, meron tayong 5 kN per meter na nakadistribute lang from A to C. And meron tayong 3 kN per meter na nakadistribute lang from C to F. So first, uh, draw muna natin guys yung free body diagram niya. 
So, this is the free bar diagram na parang stick lang. Then, kita pa rin guys yung hinge, no? So, itong pulit puti, ano yan, internal hinge yan. Uh, ilagay niya natin guys lahat ng reactions. So, sa pin, meron tayong dalawa. And sa roller, meron na lang tayong tigiisa na perpendicular lang sa contact of surface. Uh, second step, so, i-check natin yung determinacy ng structure. So, yung meron tayong formula for beams na M plus R equals to 2J. And meron tayong tatlong members. So, isang member AB. Second member is B and third member is EF and yung reactions natin meron tayong lima so dalawa sa pin and tigi sa, sa tatlong roller so bali limang reaction external lang and yung joints natin is apat lang so yung A B E and F so substitute so meron tayong 3 plus 5 equals to 2 times 4 so 8 equals to 8 ibig sabihin statically determinate pero guys pwede natin i-check guys sa solution 1 and solution 2 so for solution 1 meron tayong R equals to 3 plus easy lang so for solution 1 meron tayong 5 external reactions meron tayong dalawang internal hinge so substitute, so 5 equals to 3 plus 2 and 5 equals to 5, so same pa din, determinate and sa solution 2, meron tayong R equals to 3N, so this time yung reactions natin, syempre ididigdag ulit natin yung internal reactions so kung meron tayong B and E na internal hinge, meron yung tigdadalawang internal reactions so 5 external reactions plus 4 na internal, so meron tayong 9 para sa solution 2, and meron tayong tatlong members ulit. So, n equals to 3. Substitute. 9 equals to 3 times 3. So, ganun pa din. 9 equals to 9. So, for this problem, mahusog pa din natin lahat ng reactions. Even maraming, ano guys, uh, many time 5 reactions, ibig sabihin, 5 anons din. So, solvable pa din siya kasi determinate eh. Ibig sabihin, pwede natin masolvable using 3 equations lang. So, first, first equation of equilibrium gagamitin natin guys is summation of forces horizontal equal to 0. So, equate natin lahat ng forces to, to the right and to the left. As you can see, AX equals 0 kasi wala namang horizontal loads. Ngayon guys, pag may internal hinges tayo, as you can see, pwede natin guys i-divide yan as this section. Iniwalay natin guys yung AB, uh, BE, and EF. Pag may hinges tayo or internal hinge, yung reactions doon is dalawa din. So, pag hiniwalay natin guys yung X section AB, uh, mag a tayo guys ng direction ng reaction na BY. This is the vertical component or vertical reaction at point B, kaya BY. And horizontal reaction niya is B. X. Pag pataas yung in ko sa, sa BY, ibig sabihin pag nilipat natin yan sa kadugtong niya or itong BE, dapat magiging pababa na yan. Kasi nga for equilibrium. So ito naman na BX kung direction niya is to the left pag nilipat natin sa kabila, magiging to the right na yan. So yung CY and CDY natin, assumption ko ulit yan na pataas. Then dito guys in ko ulit dito na yung EY natin is pababa. And yung EX natin is to the left. So pag nilipat naman natin ngayon sa kabila, syempre babalik ka dun yan, yung EX, EX natin magiging to the right na and yung EY natin from uh, pababa magiging pataas na. So yun, so pwede natin guys, uh, iisa-isa yun yan. Uh, kung baga, hihiwalay natin yung pag-solve ng mga reactions using these uh, sections. So meron tayong tatlong parts. So first, uh, this section muna guys, summation of forces horizontal equals 0. So AX, ang direction niya is to the right equals to, to the left, yung BX. So yung AX natin kanina is 0. So B, ibig sabihin, yung B D natin is 0. Then next, pwede tayo mag-summation of moment at A equals 0. I equate natin lahat ng clockwise, lahat ng counter at point A. So yung mag-create ng clockwise at point A is the load lang na 5 kN per meter. And yung mag-create ng counter is yung BY. Uh, mag-create ng clockwise is 5 kN per meter times 20. This is 20 meters. Times yung moment arm niya is 10 meters from point A kasi naka, nakalocate yan sa centroid. Equal sa BY, mag-create ng counter times yung moment arm perpendicular is 20 meters. So, cancel guys yung 20 meters. So, yung BY natin is 5 times 10 na lang. So, yung BY natin is 50 kN upward. Next solution is the summation of forces vertical equals to 0. Lahat ng pataas equate na sa lahat ng pababa. So, yung pataas lang is AY plus BY tapos yung pababa is yung 5 kN per meter. So, equal yan sa 5 kN per meter times 20 meters. And meron tayong value ng BY na 50 kN. So, AY equals to 50 kN equals to 100 kasi 5 times 20. So, AY ngayon is 50 kN din. Same lang yung BY. Pero guys, kahit hindi tayo guys mag-moment at point A, kahit mag-direct na tayo guys sa summation of force vertical equals 0, as you can see, symmetrical yung loading, pwede natin guys ano sabihin na na AY equals to BY. Kaya, yun, ganun pa din yung lalabas, equal talaga yung dalawa. So, yun, nasolve na natin guys yung AY and BY na 50 kN. And yung AX and BX natin is 0 yan ha. Next, guys, 
guys, instead na itong section yung gamitin natin, kunti pa lang yung nasolve dito, meron pa tayo dito tatlong unknown, so C, Y, D, Y, and E, Y. Uh, instead na itong gamit na isolve din natin, ito muna na maliit. So, yung E, F muna na member. And yung sa E ulit, this hinge ulit, no? So, meron tayong dalawang reactions, uh, E, X, and E, Y. Yan muna yung solve natin. So, i-convert natin guys ito sa concentrated na equal yan sa 3 times 20. First, summation of force horizontal equals 0. So, yung mag-create ng force na to the right is E, X lang. And walang magkakontra. So, walang mag-force to the left. So, E, X equals to 0. Next is summation of force vertical equals 0. Uh, lahat ng patas equals lahat ng pababa. And, syempre, this time, symmetrical yung loading. Yung gagawin natin, E, Y equals to F, Y na. So, E, Y plus F, Y equals to 3 kN per meter times 20. And, yun nga, equal yung E, Y and F, Y. So, let's say, 2 E, Y equals to 3 times 20 is 60 kN. So, E, Y equals to 30 kN na equal nga sa F, Y. So, yun, nasob natin guys yung EY, uh, EX, and FY. So, yun. So, sa gitna na, mag, yung ano na lang is CY and DY. Kasi nga, yung EX and BX is zero na yan. So, dalawa na lang yung ano. So, pwede natin guys masob yan. So, first, yun nga, kahit hindi natin guys i-check, uh, automatic BX and EX equals zero. So, yung gawin na lang natin guys, uh, mag-summation of force vertical na lang tayo, and i-convert natin lahat ng distributed load to concentrated loads. So, yung lahat ng pataas, equitan sa lahat ng pababa. Yung Yung pataas is CY and DY. And yung pababa is, lahat ng force na pababa is 50 kN, this 50, and 30 kN, EY. And the distributed load na 5 kN per meter times 20 meters plus 3 kN per meter times 70. Kasi this is 50 plus 20, so 70 meters. So simplify. CY plus DY equals to 80. Kasi 50 plus 30. And 5 times 20 is 100. And 3 times 70 is 210. So, CY plus DY equals to 390 kN and let's say this is equation 1. So ngayon, uh, mag-moment tayo guys at point B equals 0. Kasi pwede naman tayo mag-moment at B. Kasi in internal hinge, yung moment dyan is 0 din. So gawin natin, before tayo mag-moment, yung distributed load natin na 5 kN per meter and 3 kN per meter, i-convert muna natin sa concentrated load. Para ma-convert yan, isolve lang natin yung area. So this concentrated load equal yan sa area na 5 kN meter times 20 meters equal to 100 kN. And this distributed load naman, area lang para maging concentrated load. So, 3 kN per meter times 70 meters equals sa 210 kN. Yung given concentrated load natin, na since na rectangular yung loadings natin na distributed load, ibig sabihin, nakalocate yun sa centroid lang ng area. So, yung 100, this is 10 meters from point B. And yung 210 naman, is yung CE natin is 70 meters, ibig sabihin from point C is 35 or from point E is 35 meters. So, yun. Pwede na tayo guys mag-moment of point B, para mas madali nga, kinonvert muna natin to concentrated load. So, yung mag-create guys ng clockwise is yung 30 kN na EY times yung moment arm niya is from point B is 20 plus 50 plus 20 is 90 meters. Plus yung 100, this is 100, mag-create din ng clockwise na yung moment arm niya is 10 meters plus 210 na yung moment arm niya is 35 plus 20 or 55 meters. Because ha, yung mag-create naman ng counter is yung CY, this is CY, and DY. So yung moment arm ng CY is 20 meters from point B and yung DY is 70 meters kasi 50 plus 20 from point B, so 70 meters. So simplify natin. So, meron tayong 30 times 90 is 2,700 kN-meter. 100 kN times 10 is 1,000 kN-meter. And 210 times 35 plus 20 or 210 times 55 is 11,550 kN-meter. Equals sa 20 CY plus 70 DY. So, simplify ulit. So, 20 CY plus 70 DY is 15,250 kN-meter. And let's say this is equation 2. So, meron na tayong equation 1 and equation 2 and 2 unknowns. So, pwede natin masolve guys yung CY and DY. So, yung equation 1 natin, this is the equation and this is the second equation. So, let's say, i-substitute natin guys yung equation 1 to equation 2. Ayusin ko guys yung equation 1. So, CY is 390 
newton minus dy and ito yung equation na i-substitute natin sa equation 2. So equation 2 is 20cy plus 70dy equals 15,250 newton meter. Substitute the value of cy. So 20 times 390 minus dy plus 70dy equals 15,250. So distribute natin guys yung 20. So 20 times 390 is 78 newton meter. And 20 times dy minus 20dy kasi may minus plus 70dy equals 15250. Then simplify. 70 minus 20 dy. So, meron tayong 50 dy. And ilipat natin yung 7, 8. Magiging negative. So, 15250 minus 7, 8. Nakakiling newton meter. And 50 dy equals to 7,450 kilo newton meter. And divide both sides by 50. So, meron tayong dy na 149 kilo newton. And this is upward. Kasi positive yung nakuha natin. Tama yung direction. Ngayon, uh, nakuha natin yung dy. Balikan natin guys yung equation 1. CY equals to 390 kN minus dy and is substitute natin yung value ng dy 390 minus 149 ibig sabihin meron tayong value na CY equals to 241 kN and this is upward din so yun, nasolve na natin guys lahat. Yung AY, CY, DY, and FY. Ngayon, para ma-check natin kung tama ba talaga yung pagkasolve natin ng uh, reactions, uh, check natin if equilibrium. So we will use the summation of forces vertical equal to zero. So equate natin lahat ulit ng pataas sa pababa. So yung lahat ng pataas is the reactions na AY, CY, DY, and FY na 50 plus 241 plus 149 plus 30 kN. And yung pababa is yung loads natin na 5 and 3 kN per meter. Equal sa 5 times 40 plus 3 times 90. 90 kasi ito yung length ng 3 kN per meter kasi 20 plus 20 plus 50. And 40 naman para sa 5 kN per meter. So simplify natin. 50 plus 241 plus 149 plus 30 is 470 guys. And 5 times 40 is 200. And 3 times 90 is 270 kN. Uh, 470 is equal to 470. Ibig sabihin tama yung pagkasolve natin guys lahat ng reactions. And that's it. Thank you very much. So for this presentation, uh, yung sinolve lang muna natin is uh, for beams and some plane frames na sinosolve natin yung external reactions. And pag may mga internal hinge, sinosolve natin guys yung internal reactions din. So that's it. Thank you very much.